So I was challenged to debunk the undebunkable 50-minute ISS tour. Is it undebunkable? Nah, of course it isn't. It's just the usual tosh. Bear with me. Now, first of all, this undebunkable 50-minute tour was cited as having no cuts whatsoever originally. But when you look at it, it's got several obvious cuts, at the very least. The first one at about the 28-minute mark, which I'm going to highlight here. Make your boy can see they're not ready for the next bit of stage work. All right. And we're going to have a cut. Now I'm going to fast forward to the second cut, which shouldn't have been there, based on what I was originally told by a group of fantasists. Now the second cut that shouldn't have been there is about the 42 minute 22 second mark, as we're about to see here. Right there. And get ready, get there. cut. This will get part of it. So there's two blatant obvious cuts there, okay, in the footage that shouldn't have been there based on what I was originally told. And the reason for that is this isn't live footage, okay? Of course it's not live footage because it's cited as the best evidence out there, flawless. So they wouldn't cite live footage where they'd put themselves at the risk of people like myself highlighting the bullshit. In the live footage, they allow themselves excuses. But because this isn't live, because this has got cuts to highlight that, and of course, you wouldn't cite your best footage out there as evidence for the space industry being live. You'd have it done properly, as they've done. Remember, this is cited as flawless and undebunkable. It's got two cuts that shouldn't have been there, and we're about to destroy this silly charade. Right, now watch the astronaut's right hand here as he transitions from one section of the ISS to another. But as he's doing so, the special effects department didn't quite get things right. And again, giving the game away. And very telling that it's at a transitional point from one section to another where this flawless footage comes unstuck. Like I say, watch the astronaut's right hand. His fingers actually go through solid metal. It's on loop. Zoom it in and slow it down in a minute. Look, his fingers go through solid metal. So we've already destroyed this silly charade. And do you know what? I haven't even seen all the footage. I've only seen 15 minutes of it and I've already destroyed it. But let's zoom in and slow this tosh down. And then when we zoom in and slow this silliness down, we can see this meltdown in all its glory. It's on loop. Our friend here, who's supposed to be part of something that's undebunkable, has just made a mockery of all his friends that cited this tosh as proof that demonstrable reality was wrong. Incredibly, he's either incredibly talented and has the ability to put his fingers through solid metal. Oh, we've had a bit of a special effects meltdown here, exposing this silly charade. Now, even the fantasists themselves admit this sci-fi production wasn't filmed live, like I made here. No, it wasn't recorded live, sure. But that really doesn't answer why it matters, unless you think it's useful to you somehow. Hint, it's not, laugh out loud. Well, I hate to break it to you, me old mate, is very relevant, as we're about to see. But first, we need to entertain someone who's going to highlight the mainstream excuse for what we've seen. But because of the original claims regarding the footage that it's flawless, it's not live, it kind of destroys the excuses before they've even popped and reared their ugly head. Next, we have some more videos from Level Earth Observer, which he claims shows proof of CGI. Now, the first is an astronaut putting a microphone up to Chris Hadfield's guitar and the microphone disappearing. So his old mate here just lost the plot 
and decided to stick the microphone inside Chris Hadfield's skull? Or is there a bit of a special effects meltdown going on here? And then a different clip where an astronaut reaches out for a microphone cable and the cable appears to travel through his hand. Bob's hand at points goes straight through that cable. Again, highlighting special effects problems, namely green screen and augmented reality, which these people interact with as well. And as a result, we get things like this, people's hands passing seemingly through cables. Now, both of these can be attributed also to heavy compression from the live stream causing artifacts. By the very nature of reducing file size, information has to be discarded. And both of these examples are clearly very low resolution footage. Thank you for that, Dave. And you're right, they are low resolution footage and that does sort of give you a bit of a leeway, an excuse to defend absurdities. The problem is with the footage I've highlighted today, which was cited as the cream of the crop, the best of the best, flawless, and of course, not live, which means there wasn't any need for compression of the data. They didn't need to do that because it wasn't live. And remember, this was the cream of the crop, the best of the best. Now, that didn't exactly go too well, did it, for Simon Dan and all the fantasists? Bless them. But lads, you're standing by things that are scientifically impossible and citing sci-fi movies as proof that demonstrable reality is wrong. Please, find yourself a quiet space and have a word with yourselves, please. So the undebunkable ISS 50 minute tour got turned over by the fingers of truth and we had a little bit of help from Dave McKeegan. Nice one, Dave. How do they do this silly charade that fools naive individuals? Well, it's a blend of augmented reality, real world physical props, special effects, green screens, harnesses and very clever, cunning camera angles and of course very clever cuts okay that's how it's done and of course i find it extremely telling that a junction between two sections we have a special effects meltdown exposing the silly charade a lot of the stuff you see where they go through from one section to another which is cited as being impossible on a harness there actually is no roof there it's like a prop stage corridor with the harnesses and the actual roof which you see in a lot of cases isn't actually there it's either augmented reality or special effects to fool you or fool naive individuals and of course that's why we get glitches remember the excuses for what we're seeing here were low res footage due to compression because of live broadcasts but this was the cream of the crop this wasn't live. This was cited as flawless. And yet it's just the usual tosh. Dear, oh dear.